Good morning, everybody, from my third day in Peru as part of the Contiki road trip. Today, we're going to get a plane all the way to Puno, which is a bit higher up in altitude. I didn't even hear of altitude sickness until I came here, but I feel like I'm okay so far. I don't know. I feel like with all the accidents I get on during trips, I'm going to be the one to get this altitude sickness. If you don't know what it is, essentially, Peru is so mountainous and it's so high up that you like have less oxygen and if you're not used to it you're going to get really sick and feel queasy and crap so you have to like chew coca leaves and stuff Alana is taking ages to get ready so I'm gonna ditch her and get some breakfast and join everyone else good luck getting makeup thanks I told you that it's gonna take a while Chloe do you have the wooden headphones? yeah no I thought the, the wooden Maisie headphones oh okay okay You're feeling really hot right now, because you're about to see a lot of fans. All, all, all of, yeah, no. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Lana has been found by fans. <laughs> Chloe used to work at a crematorium. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. If you were really bad at your job, would you get fired? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, haven't had that one before. <laughs> so Roy has lost his iPhone, and we're tracking it next to his laptop. We're gonna see how it moves. There we go. We have to get it connected to this laptop. Oh, there, it's moving. Someone has it. Someone's holding it. But that's what I'm saying. He is literally not, not on the phone. It's got to be in his backpack. Hey, you silly willy. So in this city of Yuliaca, it's actually incredibly high up. Like the altitude is over 3,000 meters. And I'm honestly already feeling like headed just slightly because the air is just slightly thinner and also colder and higher pitched. I don't know how to explain it, but like breathing doesn't give you as much oxygen. Uh, I can breathe, it's just uh, slightly dizzying. Ooh, this is such a nice bus. You can see that grass growing next to the roads. That's really the only grass growing Wow. And that one we call it Ichu uh, or Chiliwa. And you call that one is straw grass. If you look at it, so you take a Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan, where are we right now? In Puno. We're going to do a shot now. Oh. Oh, look at that. Puno is actually my favorite town in all of Peru, mostly because the first three letters are pun. And I like puns, so Pano yeah, is a great Pano. town. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to check out my hotel room. Hey oh, if any of you want to come over, I mean, I've got two beds. Why have I got two beds? I would have been okay with just a king size. And let's check out the view of the Puno Street. That's pretty nice. I'm only on the second floor. Got a little cabinet here, really nice. We're about to go get food, there's like no time, but hopefully I have five minutes to upload my new travel vlog from Peru day one. So everyone's all situated in the hotel and we're about to get lunch, but later today is our first challenge. I thought it was yesterday, but it's today. Are you uh, eating the alpaca meat tonight? Of course not. No? No. Oh, why? so I can't be your friend anymore? No, why are you eating it? I'll pop up my bag. Oh eat, my god, I, oh. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I was like, why else would you talk to me? Especially like, pull the camera. Why else would you talk to me? What up? Ruining my clothes. <laughs> Always editing. Travel vlogger life. Editing on the so I wasn't kidding earlier, yeah, yeah. this place actually has alpaca meat, and that's what I've ordered along with the best stuffed avocado you can get in Peru. So let's try that. Ryan, what are your thoughts on the avocado? Incredible. Best avocado I've ever had. English fat. And how many avocados have you had? <laughs> Hundreds. You're the right person to ask here. You okay, Ryan? So we've gotten back to the hotel and all the YouTubers are doing coca leaves. I don't know how have a cup of coca tea. Okay, I guess I'll try some of this if it's gonna help alleviate the uh... I'm gonna try to chew some. Just had a, a great hour-long nap. It is, is now dark outside. Basically, we came back to the room because a couple people weren't feeling that well with the altitude. 
I was feeling pretty okay. But then, man, during the nap, I was like, whew, I could use more oxygen. So now I'm going down, it's about 6.30 p.m., and it's time for the actual first Kentucky Road Trip 16 challenge. I really hope I can win this guy. So teams for the challenge are me, Lana, Chloe, and Allie. So, I mean, we'll try our best, but, um... Whoever can pump the most balloons and get the tallest tower wins. You have two minutes to do this. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Let's get started! managed to win that challenge, which is okay, because I'm still having weird altitude things, and my whole head is feeling really ill. I guess it's a combination of jet lag, uh, lack of Wi-Fi anxiety, with not being able to upload, and just, oh man, that altitude stuff is really getting in my head. We're about to get food right now, uh, and then I think I'm going to, I'd like to have an early night, but I'm going to be editing all night. I rubbed my face all over some bread. Well, I'm back to the hotel, and to be honest, I don't know how I can do anything. Like, I just feel so without any energy, and I have a constant pressuring headache, and it's not, it's not a good feeling. Um, the altitude stuff isn't fun at all, and I, I think it's just the end of the week really gets to me when I'm travel vlogging, because I'm not only putting out a video every day and editing, I'm putting out a video every week for my main channel that I'm, I really spend a lot of time on. So, I'm going to go to bed early today and wake up super early in the morning so I can edit my main channel video. And I might have a delay with the travel vlogs for a day, which, whatever, you know, I, I gotta do as much as I can, but I do have to care about my health just a little bit. Gosh, the altitude just gets to you. Like, if I was in a situation where the altitude wasn't bad, I'd probably be fine. But... Yeah, I really want to make sure that I'm fine, and I just need to get some sleep because my head hurts so bad, and I don't know what else to do. So, thanks for watching today's uh, vlog from Kentucky Day 3. I hope to see you tomorrow. I think we're exploring Lake Titicaca. That's a real place. Titty. Caca. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Got me a churro. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, what are your thoughts so on the avocados? Right. I said right. Then why is it?